update for the Quasi DB service for the 24th of November, Tuesday. SP chart, here's your September high. And we clearly broke above. I think the next target is MR2, but you see how it had quite a strong resistance there. Um, technicals, very, very good. VIX is lower, so the volatility is lower today than it was yesterday. And the herd are their net short, quite heavily short. Um, uh, indices, you know, the Dow Jones, the DAX, the FTSE, S&P. So, um, yeah, assuming that we're above this September high, which is uh, 3588, we can definitely target MR2, and MR3 is 3796. Um, so that would be overbought when we get there. Uh, AJ, see how, how the risk is on. So this is rallying. Um, one above is uh, 76.61, one below is 76.18. We are a buy and that's them selling. That is a bullish uh, action there. At this point, they sold, so up we go to punish those guys. AU, one above is uh, 73.50 and 72.50. Likewise, they sold it, so it comes up. If they continue, we'll get that stop loss cluster at 73.50. Uh, EA above 163.43 and 161.38. Take your technicals. If you can get this um, FX multimeter, it is really handy, especially if you can combine the sentiment and the technical. Uh, EU, uh, that big drop yesterday, um, one above 119.21. So it's really just a stop loss hunt, I think. We had a bounce here of, um, what is it, MR1, 118.02. So it was off the round number, and we bounced 50 pips off the MR2. And the SRC below is 118.29. GU, one above, is 133.42. Um, 132.97. Remember, we'd want this to come up for our e, that euro pound signal to sell. So you want to keep a, an eye on the uh, pound USD. And the MR2 is 13339. And if we go above, it can bounce off that. And your possible target is 13502. So it's quite far away. If we get a Brexit deal, then we'll hit that. Um, and you, the SLC above is at uh, 0.7 on the dot. And uh, one below is 68.67. We are a buy, have been for ages. Um, I was tempted to sell it because of the um, Kiwi uh, movement, but I'm glad I didn't because obviously look what happened. Um, dynamically, it's a bit 50 50, it's quite sideways. Technicals are quite strong on the high time frames. So, um, yeah, it's looking quite bullish. Your yen, one above is 124. On the dot, so 15 pips away, and uh, one below is 12298. And we, we are a buy because we're below 50%. There's a 50% line there, that dotted line. Pound gen MR2 is 139.3, one above the SLC is 139.5, one below is 13698. We are a buy. That's them selling there. So we go up to punish those guys 100 pips. So it's quite a big move. Uh, keep an eye on your MR2, 13930. This would have been a signal and we would have done well. But we don't know with the pound at the moment. It's a bit of a gamble. But had I had not deactivated it, that would have been quite a nice signal there. Um, dollar yen. 104.71 below is 103.65. We are a sell, but they're selling, so that could be bullish. So the dynamic is disagreeing with the uh, static. That's saying to sell. That's possibly saying to buy because they're selling over time. But if they continue and it crosses 50%, we'll go up and we'll, we'll go above monthly pivot 104.89. And then we can bounce off that and target this. Dollar CAD. Um, see what I said about the FXCM clients. 
they're long this one as well and obviously the fx ssi guys are long too so we should be coming down to get the slc 13029 and one above 13120 that's them selling so we should come down take your technicals all red so yeah looks likely and um, yeah dollar swiss likewise this should be falling uh one above is 91.55, 35 pips away, and one below is 90.70, we are a sell, sideways. And gold, I can't show you the stop loss cluster below because it's not showing us. But the one above is 18.44, we are at sell and have been for ages since here. At monthly pivot, 18.90, so obviously it did float around and chop around like crazy, but we did fall. and. With the combination of being below monthly pivot and being above 50 percent it would have been a good trade but it should continue to fall and um yeah so that wraps up um just a quick one today i'm um, around if you've got questions and um yeah have a good one and i'll speak to you tomorrow for tomorrow's video and i'll speak to you soon